We've got our timing marks right here and right here. There's a timing mark right here and right here. And on this Ninja, what they use is the half of the engine case. Can you see the split from the top half of the case and the bottom half? Check out this photo I made where I took uh, some arrows to represent the two marks that need to be horizontal with each other. The one on the left with the silicone patch is the half of the engine case and then the T is for top dead center and once again those have to be exactly horizontal with each other. With it being correct, right, this looks off here in the camera but it's, it's correct. Alright Tex, here's exactly why we find most people to time camshafts incorrect. I want to make an example of this. So I want you to take that broom on this side and I want you to hold it at the angle of the camera. As you can see in this photo, the camera angle is above and not directly horizontal with the timing mark that we're trying to set. So it gives a false indication that the timing is actually off. If you're timing camshafts at an angle in a thing above horizontal, it's going to be incorrect. Let me show you how to do it the right way in this next photo. As you can see by this painted yellow line here, being directly across from that is the only way to truly get your camshaft timing correct. I cannot stress enough that when I'm looking at this dead on, it's right. Here's a photo of the crankshaft timing as it's supposed to be directly horizontal at when viewing it. The next photo I'm going to show shows what the camera is seeing from looking above and you can see how critical this is that when you set your timing that you make sure and look at it straight on. That's where we get into trouble on when assembling these and moving the cam off a tooth is from not being directly across from this. Crank first always and then the next step is you're always installing the non-movable side. Can you see how I'm saying this is non-movable and this is movable? So you always time this one, wrap it around, time this one, and the excess is going to be picked up by this chain tensioner. And you YouTubers out there, this is something we did as a project-based learning with some other students. We did millions of hours into making this thing and, and chopping it up. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.